never really made a video just for beginners. And so if you first got a harmonica today, this is the video for you. Everybody, Jason Ritchie here and welcome back to Free Saturday. First time for everything. Missed Free Friday. <laughs> missed it. I haven't missed a Free Friday in four, over four years. And this is the first time. It's Saturday at one in the morning. I missed it by an hour. But if you're in California, I made it. I was lying in bed. We had Thanksgiving, all kinds of people over. Then we had a guest come from out of town, caught up entertaining the guests and taking them all around and cooking and cleaning and doing dishes. I lied down in bed and I said, oh, shucks, I miss Free Friday. So here we are. You know what? is missing from this channel. Beginners, you, say you just bought a harmonica and somehow you ended up on my channel. Now, this is a channel that mostly has a lot of advanced videos, some intermediate, advanced beginner, that kind of stuff. So if you first got a harmonica today, this is the video for you. And even if you've been watching for a while, this might be a good video for you too because it might teach you a little bit about tone and breathing or maybe you're having a problem playing a note clearly without bending it. Sometimes people have problems playing a note without bending it. You got your first harmonica, maybe it's a Cracker Barrel harmonica, maybe it's a Honer, maybe it's a Suzuki, maybe it's a Lee Oscar, a Seidel, a Concheng, whatever. Do you have the right harmonica? Probably. Now, some of the ones like from Cracker Barrel or, or wherever might be you know, not quite as good, but they'll probably get you through even this video here. But it might be a good idea to later spend a few more bucks and get yourself a better one. What's the best one for you, first of all? The one that you like. When I first started out, I just bought all different kinds of brands. would have opinions about one that would last for a few years or a few months. And then I would change up or I certain keys I liked in this model and other ones that nowadays, you know, I kind of settled in, but I've been playing 30 plus years. But here I'm gonna tell you about how to get a single note. Now, the first thing that you wanna do when you get your harmonica is first of all, most of the time they're in the key of C, but even if yours isn't in the key of C today, this video is gonna be just the same for you. It really doesn't matter what key your harmonica is in. So I'm gonna start a beginner series. Why not? We'll do it. The first thing you wanna do, take it out of the box and you look at it and it's got all of these holes. It was a long time ago, but I do remember looking at those little holes and thinking, how do I play just one? I kept thinking about how do they jump? How do they do that? Lots of practice, all right, but here's how you get a single hole. Now there's two different methods, but we're only gonna learn one of them today just to keep it super easy. We'll do another video on the other method another time. The first thing you want to do when you pick this thing up is learn how to play a chord. That's what it was meant to do a long time ago is play chord. How do you do that? Well, that's really easy and you're going to be able to do it today, right now. Holes one, two, three, or holes one, two, three, and four. So the first thing you're going to do is just put your mouth over the bottom. Try to get the first four holes. If you get a little extra, that's okay. If you get a little less, that's okay too. And then just blow. So I'm gonna. Now, here's the most magical thing about our instrument. If I just inhale, I get another one. Let's blow it again and then inhale.
Now you can do this all over the harmonica, but that's where I want you to start doing it right now. So the first thing you wanna do in order to get a single note is try to narrow that wide chordal embouchure down to just one hole. What's the easiest one to do? Well, it's the number one. Why is that? Well, you don't have any holes on the side. There is no negative one, there's no zero. So that's one less hole you have to worry about. So all you have to worry about is getting that first one. So what I want you to do is blow into it, but try to may, maybe make a little less of a big mouth shape to get the whole chord, and then just narrow it down and try to imagine that you're just gonna blow into that one hole. Now the temptation will be, like the word pucker, to kind of the problem with that, you can hear it, it doesn't sound good. It's not, it's not very pleasing to the ear, right? That's because my mouth is off of the harmonica. The general rule of thumb, as it was told to me, is the more of this instrument that you can get into your mouth and still play one hole, the better the tone will be. So the lower your jaw is, the more natural your breathing is from here instead of from up here. And you don't want to be like this. So I'm inhaling from right here. And I have barely any of the harmonica in my mouth. Right, you don't, want to, you don't want to do that. But if that's all you could do right now, that's not bad, okay? Let's just get that big chord and then let's narrow it down and try to get just the one blow. Now look how much of my mouth is on the harmonica. Right, so now you got your one hole. You can kind of like lean it if you have to. Now that should give you a little bit of confidence. And the next thing you want to do is just try to move up to hole two. The biggest mistake that I see beginners making, they used to make it too, is they think they got to jump. Well, look, <laughs> look how close they are. You don't have to jump at all. You just slide and it's less of a space than you think it is. So let's say you got that one blow. So you notice I didn't do this. I didn't do that, right? I just slid, just barely. Now try the same thing inhaling. keeping my jaw really, really low. And then you just try to move up and down the harmonica. One cool little lick you can learn right away to practice your single notes is this charge lick. So I'm gonna start first on the draw. So start on one draw. Move up, one draw, two draw, three draw, four draw, three draw, four draw, four draw. And then I can practice the same lick as a blow. And then you can even do the little horse race thing. comes later. Once you get single notes, that's the beginning and we will cover everything else later. 
There are lots of wonderful songs that you can learn in first position, and all you gotta do is Google them. I have over 600 videos on this channel. Most of them have lots of tab on them, but there's a lot of other videos too that have tab, and there's a lot of Google tabbed harmonica music out there. Pick something simple like taps. Pick something easy like taps and just start getting used to it. Before you know it, you can move up the entire harp. And even skip holes too. There's all kinds of fun stuff you can do. You can change the pitch of the notes. It's called bending. That's just on hole two. Just on hole three. There's all kinds of stuff. There's, this channel is full of stuff and so many other channels out there too. Check out Ronnie Shellist. He's a good friend of mine. Check out Adam Gusso. Adam Gusso is amazing. Check out Tomlin Leckie. All kinds of different channels. Liam Ward. Liam Ward's got all kinds of good stuff. All kinds of beginner stuff. I support them all. Don't just stay with me. Go look at everybody. Be a sponge. This is one of the most fun instruments you will ever play just because you get to breathe in and breathe out. And this single note business is one of the hardest things. Now, if you notice that when you're playing the single note and you can get it, but it sounds like this. On the inhale, that's because you're accidentally slightly bending. Go back to playing your chord. Remember to relax. Remember to keep your breath flowing in to your diaphragm, into your lower chest and belly. <clears throat> inhale naturally and then just subtly and softly narrow that big chordal embouchure down into a single tone. That should help you to not do this. Well, thank you for watching Free Saturday. <laughs> it's supposed to be Free Friday. I promise next week it will be too. Over 600 plus harmonica videos on this channel right here. Subscribe today and don't forget to stay tuned for the credits. Thank you everybody for tuning in to Jason Ritchie's YouTube channel. 16 years of incredible YouTube harmonica related content. That's right, 16 years. At this point over 500 free instructional videos. If you're interested in what kind of harmonicas I play, microphones, amplifiers, pedals, any harmonica related products, please check out my sponsors. These sponsors in one way or another also help keep these videos going. Who am I talking about? I'm talking about Blue Moon Harmonicas, bringing you the best in custom harmonicas. We got custom cover plates, custom combs. You can get your name put on it, just like me. Reed work, refurbished pre-war marine bands. Look at that, they put the little brace there, no more crushing the covers. The Lone Wolf Blues Company very best in pedals, microphones, almost anything you need for your amplified harmonica need. The Lone Wolf Blues Company, right here out of Ponchatoula, Louisiana. We got you. Harp gear, amplifiers, they got big ones, they got small ones. You know what they sound like? They sound like the best tube amps on the market. Harp gear, amplifiers out of Ocala, Florida. Pedal pad, pedal boards. Incredible custom pedal boards, built to last, made by two brothers who really, really care. Honer harmonicas. A moon cat loves the Honer harmonica. I like the marine band. I get Tom to put the little special 20 cover plates on it. He tricks them out, but they play great right out of the box. All of these sponsors are linked below in the description box. What else is linked below? Patreon. Consider becoming a Patreon patron. You'll be supporting me. You'll be supporting the cause. You'll be keeping these videos free for everybody. 
And you'll get a lot of extra content over at Patreon. You'll get vlogs, occasionally some extra lessons, some posts that you might not see on Facebook. A lot of stuff that I can't say or won't say here on YouTube is over on Patreon. I love my Patreon family. You guys are the best. If you're not into the monthly subscription, you can also give me a one-time tip at Venmo or PayPal below too. I'm a touring musician and I play all over the country, really all over the world with all kinds of different acts. Check out my website www.mooncat.org. In all seriousness, YouTube, Patreon, my sponsors have absolutely changed my life. Subscribe below, set reminders for the videos, don't miss any events. Every single Friday, there's a free harmonica lesson and a lot more. Even if you're just subscribing, you're helping me a lot. Those of you that are joining me on Patreon, you guys are helping me to make better decisions with my career. In all sincerity, thank you so much, YouTube, for just an incredible, incredible outlet. It's a video diary. I get to look back at 16 years of these videos. Met a lot of new friends, some really fine musicians, made some great contacts in the industry, and it's all because of you. Thank you, my harmonica family.